children hope you're all keeping well at home well today's bible story is going to be about friendship and how important it is to have good friends with us so let's get into our handwork first today hello children so what we will need for our handwork is some marker pens or felt pens scissors and gum also we'll need a board and some colored a4 sheets so let's start our friendship handwork now auntie took this a4 sheet as the base okay and what i did was i made a small banner like this my friendship plant Let's paste this right on top of our A4. Right. Paste that right there. Then I took the board and I cut it in the shape of a flower pot and on that I pasted after writing on yellow piece of paper things that friends do. Friends are helpful, friends listen, friends are kind, friends bring joy, friends love, friends share, friends are caring and friends are understanding. So, Andy wrote out all these things and pasted it on this pot-shaped piece of wood. So, let's keep this aside for now. But you will have to make one like this. Then, Auntie cut out some flowers. Right? And the stems. And pasted some leaves on them. In different, different colors, I made some flowers. And Auntie wrote Auntie's name as well as Auntie's friends' names on it. And now we are going to make our friendship plant. So let's plant our flowers, shall we? Let's assemble. Now let's paste the pot on top of our flowers so that it looks like all the flowers are inside the pot.
And now, after the handwork is done, we can hang this in our room. Or we can make something beautiful like this and give our friends when we meet them next. Maybe at school, maybe at Sunday school. So, to make it nicer, let's put this at the back. So that even if you hang it in your room, or even if you gift it to a friend, they can also hang it in their room. Okay? There. Like that. Oops. Like that. And our handwork is done. You can use whatever papers you have at home to make this beautiful handwork. It can be wrapping paper, kite paper, gloss paper, or you can even color white drawing sheets and make your own beautiful colors for the flowers. So have fun doing this handwork at home. I hope you will try out the handwork at home and make some beautiful handworks Maybe you can even give it to your friends once school starts or once Sunday school starts. It would be a nice gift to remind you and your friends about how important friendship is and how important your friends are to you. So now let's take a look at our Bible story for today. Hello children, I am Jesus and today you're going to meet my 12 very good friends. I trust these friends and I love them very, very much. First, let's see who we meet. Hello, my name is Peter and this is my brother Andrew. Hello, I'm Andrew. We were both fishermen before Jesus called us to follow him and now we follow Jesus and do what he says. Next is John and James. Hello, my name is John. My name is James. We are brothers too. We were also fishermen when Jesus came one day to close to our boats and told us to follow him. And from that day on, we follow Jesus too. And we are very good friends with Jesus. My name is Bartholomew and I am one of Jesus' disciples also. And this is our other friend, Philip. Hello, my name is Philip. We are also friends of Jesus and we follow and do the work that Jesus tells us to do. My name is Simon too, just like Peter is called Simon Peter. And my name is Matthew. I was a tax collector before Jesus called me. Do you know what a tax collector does? A tax collector collects money from the people and gives it to the government. That is what I did before Jesus told me to come and follow him. My name is James and my name is Thomas. We are also Jesus' disciples and we love Jesus and follow him and obey him in everything that he tells us to do. We are the final two disciples. My name is Judas and my name is Judas Iscariot. We are the 11th and 12th disciples. These are my 12 disciples. These are my very, very good friends. I trust them and I love them very much. And I would do anything for them because I love them. And they follow me doing God's work. Isn't it amazing that Jesus had 12 very close friends? He was able to share such a lot with them. When he was happy, he was able to share with them. And also they were there with him when he was going through difficult times and sad times also. We learn in the Bible in so many stories how his friends were always with him. And how amazing for his 12 friends 
to be with Jesus and to see all the wonderful things that Jesus did while he was here on this earth. As you see in the Bible, Jesus and his friends were always together. They did many things together and his 12 friends followed him wherever he went. They were very, very close to each other and did many things together. We don't need to have a lot of friends like Jesus did. But it's important that we have a few good friends in our lives so that we are able to share our happinesses and our sadnesses, our achievements and so many other things with our friends. And it is important for us, for you and for me also to be a good friend to our friends. We should always be kind and sharing and loving and understanding. Remember how in the handwork, in the pot, auntie had written and pasted all the things that friends should be. So we should be good friends to our friends and we should have good friends around us as well. I hope you enjoy today's story and the handwork. Let's end today's lesson with a small prayer. You can pray the prayer after me. Let us pray. Dear Lord Jesus, thank you for everything you do for me. Thank you for blessing me with my friends. Help me also, Jesus, to be a good friend to others. Jesus, I pray this all in Jesus' precious name. Amen. Till next time, Sunday School lesson. I hope you take care of yourselves and keep safe. God bless and see you next time. Bye.